I was watching a video last night relating to um, legal advice or using lawyers, etc. Predominantly, it come about from discussing an expat partner being of some legal representation. Now, the first thing I want to say here is think about this, right? I'm not being, I'm not attacking any expats here, but this is a bit of common sense. When you're looking at legal advice, do not approach somebody you do not know. See, if you approach me and ask me, do you know a good lawyer? And I go, what for? Because that's my first question. What for? Um, because, for example, the transport for jeepneys, for example, in Cebu City, I would actually recommend the daughter of the, the of the former chief of LTO. I recommend her. Why? Because she's been doing it for years. He was the former head of LTO. So for transportation, I recommend that lawyer. As Philip will tell you, the problems he had with his wife, um, he had another issue because he needed a lawyer to defend him in court because this court case wasn't really his. It was all to do with his ex-wife um, extorting money, let's put it that way, from p potential buyers because the, the, the because when I say potential, when they pay up front and she disappears with the money, there was sort of some potential buying. They assumed they'd actually bought the place when they hadn't. Um, that was a completely different lawyer. And what, who did I use? I used somebody that was a, a lawyer that defended somebody else in some other legal matters. Because you have to be very careful on lawyers it doesn't matter where you are in the world you need to get a specific lawyer for your case um, I've dealt with murder cases I've dealt with um, business problems I've dealt with things with relationship issues and also like transportation they're all different people because there are also different levels of lawyers that cost different amounts of money if you're fighting a murder case for example you don't use a cheap lawyer you want the best you can afford um so when i was listening to this where somebody's saying well she might be a lawyer she might not be look i'm not being funny i would never use her as a lawyer um and the main reason being if she cannot even identify herself as what she is and what she's doing um, I don't want to represent me. I'd be better off doing it myself. But on top of that, if she's doing some sort of legal degree or whatever, because it seems a bit confused, it's, it's between two, three channels relating to the Philippines discussing it. You don't need somebody that's going to give you the uh, ebook guide to legal representation. You need a lawyer. If she goes and does a law degree, um, Okay, the, the, I'll simplify this. If you're building a house and somebody has just finished college this week, do you hire them as your main builder? The answer is no. They may be the second mate, they may be the, the labourer, they're certainly not going to be the person that's doing the, the architectural work or leading the construction job. So from a, from a legal point of view, these people that say, well, I've just finished my degree or whatever, you don't want them. Um, they're not experienced enough, they're not knowledgeable enough, and in the Philippines, one thing that will eat through money like no tomorrow is court cases. Um, so just don't. And I know there's been some dispute over some money that Chris Wren was on about um, where he gave some money to somebody. If there's no legal document, I know this sounds pretty harsh, but at the same time, I come from business. Um, I don't come from the friendly side of the woods. From a business perspective, if, you, if somebody gave me money, it's gifted. Um, he may not have done it in that way. He may not have made an assumption. Whatever it is, if you've given it in hand and not actually explained what it's for, made a contract for it, You've got no right of getting it back, 
but it's also going to be seen as gifted, regardless of what is said. Um, and I know I watch Chris Friend's channel, and I, I know he comments on mine from time to time. But the reality here is, just write it off. It's a mistake. If you think that's lost, if you think that's lost, um, I think the most I've lost on some bad transaction was about sixty thousand um, pounds, which is going back probably about fourteen years ago. So I just write it off as experience, you know. And you go, oh well, you could have. No, I couldn't. It crippled me financially for a good two years. But the whole point is, I learned my lesson. Everything goes on a little bit of paper. What you're loaning, the amount, how long for, what's the agreed terms, when will they pay it back? And when you do agreed terms, if there's interest rates on it, check that it's legal. You know, even if they turn around and agree to it, it doesn't make it legal. So this is why I'm saying all these disputes relating to legal matters, etc. You know, say, oh, she's a lawyer, she's not doesn't matter two things that matter firstly if there's no contract it's gifted whether you like it or not um, and I know it's hard to take in but I've lost a lot more money to be honest in the, in the Philippines on bits and pieces but I just buy the bullet and just go oh all right my mistake learn from it and the other one being there's no clear cut of what she actually does if she's doing a legal degree or not. At the end of the day, it's not to your benefit, it's none of your business. And when I say none of your business, it's not in a negative way to say it's none of your business. It's more to do with don't get involved. You know, it's not your problem. If you know if she's halfway through a degree, it is not your problem. Um, that's why it's like not your business. I don't know it sounds blunt, but after eight years of the Philippines you have to be that way um, otherwise everyone would be trying to rob your pocket all the time I do stuff for charities and stuff um, and I, I'm a direct person I not only bluntly but financially um, I had somebody that I hardly know messing me the other day oh I'm collecting my aunt's collecting for some child's event blah 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 um, any amounts fine and I'm like, yeah, delete. I haven't. Firstly, I don't know the person. I've met her once when I offered her a job. B, all this stuff in the Philippines you have to be very wary of because they shove administration charges and other bits and pieces on the suit themselves. Um, and C, it's not my charity. It's not my organisation. If so, for example, Minkin in the Central School is something I'm involved in. I do bits and pieces there. There's also another special school. Well, there's two special schools I've got a keen interest in because these places make a difference. Um, I will not give money, mine or anybody else's, to people I do not know. And half the time, even if I do stuff with my own money, I do it myself. Uh, because I rarely trust anybody else. There's very few people on the charity stuff I would actually trust. Robert Dayton, for example, is probably one of the few people, because he, when we had Typhoon High End, he was dipping in his pocket as much as I was, if not, well, yeah, as much as I was, because we, we gave away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. Um, there's not many people that will do that, and it, but that's the level of trust. <laughs> Yeah, so legally, I've gone off on a tangent. So on legal matters, go to lawyers that you know. If an expert <laughs> recommends a lawyer, ask them why. You know, don't just say, oh, well, uh, I know a lawyer. Yeah, I know about 20, and they all do different things. Um, you need a specific lawyer for a specific task. If you just go randomly, they may just sub it out to one of the people I know anyway. All right, thanks for watching. Yeah.